Okay guys, so I just thought I would uh, make a very important video. We've got some incredibly sad news just come out here. Sky News have done a, an article. I want you to brace yourself for this because it's uh, it's quite disheartening really and uh, I feel a lot for the animal agriculture, turkey industry particularly because it says here CO2 shortage may cancel Christmas, major poultry supplier warns. Wow that's a, that's a very uh, intense warning here by the poultry industry. What's going on here? A steep rise in gas prices has caused two large fertilizer plants in Teesside and Cheshire, which produce CO2 as a byproduct, to shut, hitting supply to the food industry. And this man here, Ranjit Singh Boparan, I've never been good at pronouncing names, I'm sorry. The owner of Bernard Matthews and Two Sisters Food Groups, wow, wow, Two Sisters I know is huge. Bernard Matthews also huge. Said supply issues as well as a shortage of workers will affect the supply of turkeys for Christmas. Well, you know, I'm terribly sorry you don't have enough, you know, deadly gas to kill innocent beings and it's going to affect the supply of dead birds for Christmas. I'm sure the turkeys are terribly unhappy about that. CO2 is used in the humane slaughter of livestock. What a laugh. So CO2 is a gas, it's, a, it's the same gas that you get in like a, you know, when you get a, when you get a can of Coke. You this fizzy gas. Um, it's incredibly irritating to the animals. It's incredibly terrifying for the animals to breathe in. Anyone know, remember the story of Annie the pig here? Annie the pig in Zurich in Switzerland, uh, they were doing uh, some research on Annie the pig, very unethical research. And uh, what they did is they uh, would feed Annie the pig in a certain room each day, and then she got used to eating in that room. And then what they did is they filled the room one day with CO2 gas with her in it. You know, she refused to go into the room for about three days. She wouldn't eat or drink. She would rather not eat or drink then go into the room filled with CO2. CO2 gas is incredibly harsh on the animals. Uh, you can see images of animals desperately trying to escape gas chambers. And uh, this is the main way turkeys in particular are, uh, you know, stunned before slaughter. And also broiler chickens and egg laying hens, spent egg laying hens and pigs. So, you know, call it humane slaughter is just insane. Put that in the human context. Uh, we use CO2 to gas our humans. It's, you know, the most humane slaughter. Anyways, um, many more things to say about gas chambering animals and the ethics of it, but let's continue. There are less than 100 days left until Christmas and Bernard Matthews and my other poultry businesses are working harder than ever before to try and recruit people to maintain food supplies, he said, Mr. Boparin. Nothing has fundamentally changed since I spoke about this issue in July. In fact, I take no pleasure in pointing out that the gaps on the shelves I warned about then are getting bigger by the day. Okay, so yeah, he's talking about the gaps in Turkey. Turkeys are abused in massive factory farms. The turkeys grow so big now, they can't hold their body weight, they can't naturally mate. The industry have turned beautiful birds into, you know, it's very saddening to say, but you know, freak shows. Human beings have harmed these birds to such an extent, have manipulated these animals to such an extent that they're now walking, suffering, you know, masses of flesh, which is just, I've been in turkey farms last year. We did a campaign for turkeys and, uh, you know, rescued Tinsel the turkey. Tinsel the turkey's fate was either a killing cone or a gas chamber. And we went in to see um, how, you know, most turkeys are raised, which is in the, the large sheds, Disgusting, covered in feces, you know, injuries. They go insane in, in those big sheds together. They can't maintain a pecking order. They get their beaks trimmed off so they don't, you know, essentially cannibalize each other to death, which happens often. And uh, all of that blood is on the hands of this guy, Ranjit Singh Boparan. This man here, oh mate, you are essentially like the most horrible dictator, executioner of 
birds, uh, you're at the top of the, the you're at the top of the sort of hierarchy of your businesses here, executing billions upon billions of sensitive creatures. The supply of Bernard Matthews turkeys this Christmas was already compromised, as I need to find 1,000 extra workers to process supplies. Now, with no CO2 supply, Christmas will be cancelled. It's very like. Uh, <laughs> over the top and exaggerated here. Christmas will not be cancelled if you're a vegan. You can easily get... What about these amazing no, no turkey roasts that Wicked Kitchen, we handed them out last year. Everyone loved them. There's also tofurkey roasts. There's also amazing vegan, you know, options you can have at Christmas. There's no need to gas chamber billions of birds um, in order to have a happy Christmas. In fact, it's incredibly satanic to, you know, worship God with the corpses of gas chambered beings on your table. It's just, it's the complete opposition to everything, you know, that we believe Christmas represents, which is a time for sharing and, you know, meeting with family and, you know, being grateful and all of these things, you know, sharing gifts. And I don't think there's any issue with practicing your religion unless it involves gas chambering billions of beings. The CO2 issue is a massive body blow and puts us at breaking point, it really does. That's poultry, beef, pork, as well as the, the wider food industry. I wasn't aware that beef cattle were gas chambered. I, th that's the first time I've heard of that. Uh, but definitely poultry and pigs. Um, maybe they use CO2 to refrigerate the corpses of um, murdered cows. That's probably what they're doing. Without CO2, the bottom line is there is less throughout and with our sector already compromised and lack of labor, this potentially tips us over the edge. Well, you know, my heart bleeds for you. I'm terribly sorry you can't cause a massive holocaust of innocent beings in gas chambers uh, and that your uh, satanic um, religious you know, tradition of dining on the body parts of suffered animals um, is going to be cancelled. Um, you know, my heart is just overwhelmed with sadness for you, not. Business Secretary Kwasi Kwarteng, pronunciation king over here, who met with several industry leaders over the CO2 shortage on Saturday, said, twi said on Twitter, there is no cause for immediate concern over the supply of gas in the UK. It's okay guys, don't worry. We've definitely got enough gas to gas chamber billions of beings. The animal holocaust can continue. Just don't stress out guys, okay? We're gonna be able to continue the mass murder of innocent, sensitive, defenseless birds. Don't stress. Mr. Bofram continued, when poultry cannot be processed, that means they must be kept on farms where there are potential implications for animal welfare. So the overall effect is welfare compromise and greatly reduced supply. Well, so like, don't worry guys, like, we'll get some more CO2 because when poultry cannot be processed, meaning, you know, massacred, mass murdered, um, it means they must be kept on the farms that we created, these big concentration camps that we created for non-human animals that, you know, we put them in there, we, we force them to breed into these facilities and then there will be potential implications if we keep them in these prisons that we created for them. So the overall effect is that their welfare that we've already breached will be compromised. So th therefore, we need to gas chamber them as soon as possible. You know what I'm saying? We can't keep them in the concentration camp prison that we constructed and forced them into a life of hell. You know, essentially, it's the, the most humane thing to do is to end their suffering that we caused by putting them in the gas chamber. Ready meals will lose that vital shelf life. There's potential for massive food waste across the board. Food waste, these are innocent beings, okay? They're not food waste. There's this huge problem here of billions of animals in sheds. And you know, these places are breeding grounds for disease. They are suffering energy nodes all across the world. And uh, you know, they're like, <laughs> You know, if we don't get enough gas to murder them all, they'll be stuck in there and they will suffer to death and it will be horrible, it will just be horrible. Like, it's just such a huge, massive disaster, animal agriculture. This is clearly a national security issue and unlike the labour supply crisis where the government response to our sector has been disappointing to say the least, it has to be dealt with as a matter of urgency. We urgently, this is a matter, this is a national security issue if we don't get enough gas to, to gas chamber innocent beings. I'd like to see CO2 supplies prioritised for the food sector so the UK supply can be maintained and for the government to support these fertiliser plants who are saying they've switched off because of the rising price of natural gas. You know, we'd like to see this deadly gas prioritised for the food sector. You know, the amount of euphemisms they use, the food sector. If you replace the, the animals with humans, this is just a massive holocaust of innocent beings. I'm really like hard pressed to find another way of describing it. It's just, 
food, but it's the food sector. It really beggars belief when such a key infrastructure operation can arbitrarily decide to switch off the taps because of price inflation. It is irresponsible and catastrophic for our sector. You know, the main thing that they, these people just seem to like be, you know, almost deleting from the conversation is that you're making billions of dollars off of the backs of these animals. Why haven't you mentioned that? You're more worried, uh, this guy here, Ranjit Singh Boparan, he's concerned that his money uh, is going to dry up. That's what it is. He's, deserve, he's, he's concerned he's not gonna be able to make as much profit off of the suffering, slavery, and murder of these innocent beings. But completely, you know, he's more worried that, you know, I'm worried about animal welfare. <laughs> You're worried about animal welfare. They're going to be, they have to be, have to stay in these prisons. They'll suffer if we don't get to gas chamber them. Oh no, you know what's going to suffer, Mr. Boparan? Your wallet, isn't it? Your billions and billions of dollars. Sickening, sickening industries. Um, it's irresponsible and catastrophic for our sector. It's not irresponsible to the most inefficient food system on earth where they're just growing a bunch of soy, chopping down the rainforest, feeding it to billions of birds, causing them immense suffering and murdering them en masse feeding them to the people, you know, increasing the probability of pandemics, bird flu. That's not irresponsible, but you know, switching off the taps to our CO2 supply, it's very irresponsible. We just can't down tools because of inflation. Down tools, you just can't down your murder tools like your gas chamber. We can't turn off the gas chamber because of inflation. It's my business. In my business, you have to roll up your sleeves as best you can and tackle it head on. Roll up your sleeves, you know, and continue the mass murder and destruction of the earth. Giving up and saying inflation is too high is not an option. He added, it's tough enough having one hand tied behind our backs by simply not having enough people to supply food. With the CO2 on top of this, both hands are tied. Government need to act now or we'll have another canceled Christmas. What about the emotional manipulation from this psychopath? <laughs> you know, you're emotionally manipulating the government and the, the public saying, oh, Hey guys, Christmas is cancelled. You know, if we can't gas chamber these beings, there's gonna be a massive animal welfare issue. We won't have enough people to supply food. Like the only thing to eat is murdered birds, dude. The only thing to eat on this earth is birds murdered in gas chambers. You're worried about CO2 supply. You know, this person knows that gas chamber killing is the most efficient. You've got a bunch of slaughterhouses with gas chambers operational, you know, and uh, those slaughterhouses can't operate without the gas. So he's worried about his bottom line. He's not worried about the welfare of the animals, whether he can supply enough food to the UK, like all of this virtue signaling nonsense, right? And then, oh, we, or we're gonna have to cancel Christmas, kids. I'm sorry, kids, but Christmas is canceled. This is catastrophic. Like, what a load of nonsense, mate. Like. How much blood is on the hands of this billionaire psychopath emotionally manipulating the public so that he can continue the mass holocaust of innocent beings? It's sickening. It's sickening. And uh, if you can't read through these, just these lies and emotional manipulation, this gaslighting from this... Yeah, <laughs> there's definitely not a shortage of gaslighting, though, is there, by this guy? Um, billionaire, tycoon, making money off of the backs of enslaved birds. Innocent birds, they can't defend themselves. They're sensitive, intelligent beings. They don't deserve for one second what humans do to them. I, I hope that these industries go under. I hope they don't get any gas to fill up the gas chambers. I hope they get no workers to work in the slaughterhouses. I hope that this person goes completely bankrupt and bust. I just hope that karma makes its turn for the better. Like these beings have done nothing wrong. They have done nothing wrong and uh, people like this, making billions off the backs of these beings and uh, the public, of course, completely complicit in it. They just want their turkey for Christmas and uh, it's a shame, it's a shame. So check out all the uh, turkey alternatives this Christmas. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, should they have enough CO2 to gas chamber as many beings as they can? Do you think this guy's being honest when he really cares about the welfare of the animals and about you know the food supply and about Christmas being canceled? Or do you think he's just a, another billionaire making money off the backs of enslaved animals and cares more about his bottom line than the ethics of the earth, the animals, and the people. Okay guys, see you all in another video. And uh, Christmas ain't canceled for people who are eating plant-based, that's for sure. Peace.